Watch Young and the Restless, you know her as Esther Valentine, Kate Lander uh, on the BT Couch. Welcome. Hey, yes, I'm so thrilled to be with you and Jody. It's and great. You know, one of the cool things right out of the gate that you mentioned is, hey, you're on Twitter, but you don't have somebody handling it. I mean, you have so many fans, you connect with them directly. Oh, totally. I follow back, I answer questions. It's at Kate Linder, so it's easy, easy to find me. I'm so following her, and I have Yay. just a billion <laughs> questions, but let's first talk about why you're in town. This is a very special tea that you are putting on for a much needed cause. It's not just breast cancer, but also ovarian, ovarian cancer. cancer. And it's a Canadian Cancer Society. And uh, this is the 16th tea that we've done and uh, we're at the uh, Fairmont Hotel Vancouver and that was where we were our first tea 16 years ago. What so, motivated you to get involved in this tea in the first place? Well, it, it, this is a really great story, but I was up in Canada doing an, an event with uh, Robin Wiss. It's a hockey event actually. And uh, we were talking and uh, about how popular Young and the Restless is in Canada. I said, you're missing the boat. You, you, you know, if we want to raise money for charity, then this is what uh, we need to do, do something here. And he said, okay, what would you do? And I said, I know exactly. I do a high tea because Esther serves tea. And then, of course, cancer. My gosh, I don't know anyone that isn't affected by it through their family or someone they know. I mean, do you know anyone that doesn't know both, someone? Both of my parents are cancer survivors. Okay. Are all three of them. See? My so, mom, my dad, my stepdad, all three of them. Wow. Alive today because of research. Mm -hmm. Exactly. I mean, since 1947, the Canadian Cancer Society has raised $1.2 billion. And I know there's a cure out there. You know, there is one. It's just we haven't found it yet. So we need events like this. And it's so great because it's a win-win situation. I mean, Christian LeBlanc is uh, actually MC co-hosting with me. Nice. And so he'll be here. He plays Michael Baldwin. I was just going to say, you have to say the, uh, the character yes, names as well. Yes, he plays Michael Baldwin. Michael Crystal Baldwin. Khalil, who plays Lily, she'll be here. She's Tristan awesome. Rogers, who plays Colin, who's so mean to me now. So mean, but I, so famous. Yeah. My He's a good goodness. guy. He's here. So when you have Redrick, oh sorry, go ahead. Redrick Williams plays uh, Tyler. He'll be. Here. So when you have all of these uh, fans come out, there's probably a lot of questions that are thrown your way. What's the most common thing people ask you about your character, about the experience on Young and the Restless? Uh, well, they want to know what kind of cleaning products I use. No, I'm <laughs> And I go, what? Esther doesn't clean. Yeah. Are you kidding? When have you seen her clean? No, no, She's but you too look, busy. You look listening. fabulous, flitting around and answering the door, and dinner is served. Wasn't that your first line? Yes, yeah. so it was. And you see, it was, it was great acting because it's something my family never hears. They never heard that <laughs> dinner is served. So I said that, and they liked me. And they, I was actually only supposed to be there for one day. And um, here we are, over 32 years. Okay, quick behind the scenes question, because we were asking Dietra Hall from Day Survivalize this too. You guys have so much content, you roll through script on a daily basis. What's your secret to memorizing your lines? You know, it's just like cramming for a test. You know, you just, that's why my, I, my long term memory is good, my short term, you can just forget it, yeah. because I have to cram so much in. So if I were to have to do another scene, the same scene we shot it and then do it later in the day, I'd be in big trouble. Yeah. Because it, it's gone already, because I have to make room for the next day. So we know? could give you a page of copy, yes. and in 30 minutes you'd have it all memorized. Yes, ready I'll to memorize go. it for you. So I could come and help you guys. You can come and hang out anytime. Yeah, okay. uh, do you have a best, best pal on set? Do you spend some so much time at work it is such and I know obviously well, Jeannie, Jeannie, Jeannie Cooper I, I miss her so much I really do there's a plaque on her dressing room door it says Jean Cooper's room the door was always open which is true and I find myself gravitating walking to her room because that's where we ran lines but I spend a lot of time with Jess Walton who plays Jill and uh, even though she's nasty and mean to me she's so on mean this to show. You. She's and now she's got Colin who's helping her be mean to right me. Right in that sixteen she, billion yeah, she, dollar necklace that she found yes. in the chandelier. Yes, and, and then they're gonna get it stolen. I, why didn't I find it? I should have yes. dusted up there. See? But I mean, clearly you're not clear. Here. Clearly oh, yeah. there's there's drama. Not clear. I should have seen that. <laughs> Gosh. Okay, one more question about behind the scenes. What's it like when they replace a character, keeping the care I mean, you, you lose track of who's who, like Billy's Billy this week and he's but Billy well, next week and is different. How do you how do you make those actors comfortable in the moment when they really got to deliver? You know, sometimes I mean, usually Young and the Restless is really great about when you tune in. It 
it's really not a revolving door. You're going to see characters that you've seen for a long time, like Victor and Nikki and, and Jill. I mean, there's so many characters. But sometimes things happen and people decide to leave and they have to change. And so, you know, it just takes a while. You have to get used to the person. And it's hard. They're, they're coming in, replacing another actor. And they want to make it their own. But then it, it can't be a shock, like, well, you're not Billy. You don't do it. Act. Like, they better never replace Esther. They I'll can't be replace. You're irreplaceable, Kate Winter. So, you're you know. here for the afternoon tea at the Fairmont Hotel yes. Vancouver. It is tomorrow. Get involved with it for the Canadian Cancer Society. Uh, thank you so much for being here. And we got the ticket giveaway. We're going to oh, help you out. Right if you want to go see a contest at btvancouver.ca, there you see the subject line T. Esther and friends going to be there. going to be amazing, Kate. Thanks so much for coming on the show. Thank you. And everybody behind the scenes was like, really? Is Victor still there? Is Nikki still, still there? there? Is Nikki, Nicholas yes. still there? Dirk Nicholas, had it all. Yes. Yeah. Dirk had it all. That's a classic. Once people find out you love your Y&R. They go in I'm deep glad. on the characters. That makes me happy. Fun makes fact. Me happy.